I recently did a video where I took over Control Your Narrative and became their head booker and it seems you guys really enjoyed that video uh, and really enjoyed the antics of Shark Boy, Shaggy 2 Dope amongst all the other members of the Control Your Narrative roster that I signed. So I thought I'd do another video so I'm back here booking some more Control Your Narrative for you. Hope you enjoy, leave your booking suggestions in the comments below and let's go into this video. Oh uh, yes sir, we are back booking some more Control Your Narrative. The last show just went uh, so well. Should we very quickly recap the last show? Uh, the great Carly winning a battle royal. Uh, family values attacking Carly. The family values being attacked by the new menagerie. The new menagerie attacking, being attacked by ICP. Then Sharky Tudope forming. Then Tommy Dreamer attacking all of them. We have to book some big schnoz match that involves all these guys. Uh, Aries and Flip Gordon, Cross and Scarlet Bordeaux defeating Alex Riley and Jessamine Duke in a random match. Uh, Lena Feline defeating Camille and Latimer, her husband. Enzo Amore burying Simon Gotch. Blanchard defeating Sexy Star. Adam Sher defeating Eric Redbeard. Uh, and EC3 defeats Moose. Also, Sexy Star got fired for um, uh, doing a shoot armbar on Tessa. But I think we'll just have her appear on the next show, just unexplained. I think that will be a really good idea. <laughs> I've done a bit of admin, I've made all the teams, uh, Sharky 2 Dope, the Bastard Squad are just Enzo and Cass, that was a suggested name, I just thought I'd go with it, uh, and the Outlasters, they're called the Outlasters, they're the tag team from Family Values, uh, they're called the Outlasters because somehow they've managed to last this long in wrestling, uh, specifically Teddy Hart. And we have got the Family Value Stable going. We do need to make the new Menagerie, though. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't actually remember who's in the new Menagerie. Of course, it's Mike Knox, Parker Boudreaux, and Shark Boy. Um, but Shark Boy turned on them immediately. So it's just Mike Knox and Parker Boudreaux now. Um, so we'll make them a team. The new Menagerie. Uh, maybe we can do an angle where we uh, add a new member to the team. And speaking of uh, adding new members to the team, we're getting loads of signings going. Ryback Reeves is hopefully going to be joining um, Control Your Narrative. Because surely, surely this happens in real life, right? Surely Ryback will stop doing them polls where he retire, always wins, and he'll just join Control Your Narrative. Uh, John Zandig, of course. We're going to have him wrestle, I reckon. Uh, Kratos, Scott, Scotty Too Hotty, Colin Delaney, Michael Elgin... Uh, I'm going to bolster the tag division with the good brothers. Yes, sir -y. All right, so we have made it to show day. And I realize that something I've never done is, is pull a rib on someone. So who's going to react great to this? I think Austin Aries is going to have a, a great reaction to a, a elaborate prank that we're going to do on him today. A well-thought-out rib. I think he's going to react so well to this. Uh, it's gone down with the locker room, but he is absolutely furious <laughs> about it. Oh, no. Yo, we're going to bury Austin Aries on this show. For, uh, for not knowing how to take a joke. I think it's only fair. So <laughs> we'll get going with that. It is time to go through the show. And we are opening with Violent J. Who is looking for a new partner. And he meets Vincent J. And they are going to be taking on a mystery team up next. So we're building up storylines as you can see at the bottom. Uh, going on to the next match. The mystery team is of course. The Good Brothers. Who absolutely bury them in 45 seconds. With... Violent J getting a 13 in ring rating, being the weak link. Oh boy, and he's one that he's part of one of the biggest storylines in the company. What a great idea that is. Uh, as he's leaving, though, he walks past his old partners of a uh, Shaggy Two Dope and Shark Boy. Oh, it's now Sharky Two Dope, and Shark Boy spits on him. He, he's sick of him. Shark Boy is just an absolute scumbag. Uh, and they're coming down for a big. If it works, please. Hello. 5 on 5 tag match. It's them teamed up with Carly and the new menagerie defeating Family Value. So, truly are just the most useless stable of all time. I don't think I'm going to give these guys a single win, if I'm honest with you. I think they're here to lose every match. Uh, it is an absolutely dreadful match, as always. Uh, no surprise. Uh, Austin Aries versus Lena Fanine. Lena Fanine beats Aries for not taking a joke with Samoan Drop. Not a bad match, but Aries got an. Achilles tendon tear. Oh my god, that is not a good injury. That's like a long term injury. This guy's had the worst day. He's been ribbed and then gets a long term injury. Uh, to be fair, he is wrestling Nia Jax, so that, you know, th that does add up uh, over there. Uh, poor Aries, man. <laughs> what an awful day. Uh, but Enzo and Cass are, are doing coke, uh, and Elgin thinks it's protein powder, so he steals it. Uh, yeah, nothing more to say about that. 
leading to a match between the two, which Kaz does win. Uh, I really only bought in Michael Elgin to do that angle. I'm never going to use him again, I don't think. Uh, Tom Latham and Camille defeat Kylie and Jessamyn Duke, the obvious couple they are now. I think I'm going to make them an actual on-screen couple. Uh, and right after the match, they are attacked by Cross and Scarlet Bordeaux. Look at this. We're doing storylines. How insane is this? We've actually got feuds going on. I think this could be a good match, actually. Uh, Ryback makes his debut. He defeats Moose in a not a bad match, actually. Uh, oh, God. Zandig is the road agent. I didn't even realize. Uh, Sexy Star defeats Adam Schur. Uh, they had a good chem great chemistry, and it should have been longer, apparently. Uh, but this was a loser leaves the company match. So uh, Adam Schur has gone from the company because he actually signed with WWE in this game. And he's working there part-time. But we don't want that. You can't work for both. You're gone, brother. Uh, and as he, obviously, he's, he's beaten up by the, the whole roster for his sins that he's committed. These are all just guys that weren't used on today's show. I don't think I've used a big O once <laughs> in this company. Uh, and this leads up to our main event, which is a pretty big main event of Tessa Blanchard versus EC3. And a pretty good match once again with EC3 defeating Blanchard with a 1%er. And we're going to finish the show... With a 33, uh, a pretty good show. Uh, let's give a speech. So, Austin Aries, we're going to absolutely bury once again. Um, he just deserves it, to be honest. Austin Aries is getting absolutely buried. And then, I think, we'll, get, we'll give Violent J a hug. He's lost his friend, man. He's lost his partner. And then, I think... You know, we'll praise um, we'll praise Lena Fanine for, uh, for, injuring, <laughs> for injuring Aries. We'll praise her for that. She's awesome for that. <laughs> let's make this speech. Aries was furious. Uh, I'm not sorry. Violent J was pleased and so was Lena. Uh, what an incredible show that was. Poor Austin Aries has just had the worst day ever. Uh, you know what? Let, let's roll the intro that Austin Aries did for my channel once and that I only ever play when I'm slandering him on video. What's up, guys? This is WWE superstar Austin Aries, and you are watching Top 10 Wrestling. So, looking at our new screen post show. We were pretty much the bottom, like one of the worst shows that happened that day, which isn't very shocking at all. Uh, we beat out this ICW promotion, but that's not too much of an achievement. Um, wait, we ran Full Sail University? I didn't even realise. We, we, we just stole NXT's venue, man. We're running Full Sail University. Uh, NXT actually had a show. Uh, that's Roderick Strong Apollo Crews main event. Okay, I mean we're never beating that, are we? Um, I mean, how did this show compare to our last show then? Uh, oh, it did better in the ratings. Uh, this show was also at Full Sail. I guess that's just our, our home venue now, and I never actually realised. So, uh, whatever to that. Um, but either way, that is uh, pretty much it. Uh, let's, uh, let's first of check Austin Aries. Um, Eleven months he's out for. We can get surgery, let's do that. And success, so he's out for six months. Not too bad. And I think that probably wraps everything up for this video here. Uh, in the next video, though, we are going to be doing titles. Uh, we're actually going to make titles in Control Out. We're going to be crowning champions for Control Out. The Control Out of Shortweight Championship was going to go to Aries, but he did get injured. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all soon. Goodbye, and keep on rolling.